The Traplink Pro dual channel remote control can be used under a couple of different scenarios really. Obviously it's ideal for skeet and we've labelled the controller high and low to denote the towers but we've also labelled them A and B which makes it suitable for use on a sporting course as well. We have a couple of extra features built into this remote control that makes it kind of unique. We have a follow by mode which will give you an A followed by an A three seconds apart, a B followed by a B and a pair button will give you an A followed by a B. Then we have solo mode. Now the solo mode will give you a four second delay before it launches the clay and both of these buttons can be used in conjunction with each other. Let's give you an example. I have next to me a light which represents A and another one which represents B. Nice and simple. And as for the pair, as you can see it's instantaneous. Both traps fire at the same time. And when we enable the solo mode, we will receive a countdown before A fires. And if we do the follow by mode in conjunction with the solo, there goes the second clay. To demonstrate the pair mode, so now we'll receive an A followed by a B. Good remote control. Very popular seller this one. In fact I would say this is the control we sell the most of compared to the single channel. Single channels are good if you just have the one trap and you have no plans to expand but if you have two traps or a layout which just has the two traps on it then this is a remote control to consider. The professional range of our remote controls are all packed with the same features. One of which is the transmission power which enables us to go distances up to two kilometers. You might ask, well, why do we need to go two kilometers when we're only shooting clays? We can't shoot that far. Well, the more obstacles you put in the path of that signal, the range reduces. Which is why on the cheaper products you see on the market and they claim 100 meters, well, that's great. If you're going straight across the field, you will get the 100 meters. The problem comes when you start putting trees in the middle or hills and valleys and everything else. And that range goes from 100 meters crashing down all of the way to 30. The clays aren't firing on the button presses. You end up waving a remote control above your head just trying to get the signal for the clay to fire. Obviously not ideal, not what you need if you're trying to run a competition or a reputable club. So this is why we have the professional range. Now, the two kilometer range allows us to put any host of obstacles in the way. It doesn't matter if there's a hill there. It doesn't matter if the trap is down in a ditch, in the middle of a woodlands, or even in a brick building so you can set up a skeet course. The signal will still penetrate that brick wall and fire the trap reliably. Going on from there, we have anti-interference technology built into the remote control to cut out interference. Now, a lot of different remote controls on the market rely on a specified frequency to fire the trap. Ours doesn't. It works on a range of frequencies and will pick the clearest frequency available at the time and use that frequency for controlling your equipment. Some of the remote controls in our range use LiPo rechargeable batteries, but they tend to be the larger remote controls in the range. As for these ones, the small handheld ones with the belt clip on the back, these all operate on a PP3 square 9 volt battery. Easily accessed by popping the back cover off, you'll find a battery terminal inside. And the battery will last for a considerably long time, but we do recommend when you're not using the remote control that you turn the switch off so it's not being drained in standby mode. The entire professional range is compatible with the Traplink Pro receivers. Now this is the receiver which will give you that mentioned 2km range and we actually do ours a little bit different from everyone else where we actually mount the antennas upside down. Now wall mountable with the two screw holes on the side with the antenna pointing downwards prevents that rainwater from actually managing to seep in through the hole. Now we do actually have a waterproof gasket there to keep the water out but for belts and braces, we pointed down too, along with a cable entry gland to stop that rainwater managing to seep its way in. As we all know, rain is pretty good at getting in everywhere. Now, to program these remote controls, most of which all of these models work by holding down the solo button in combination with the actual button you wish to program. We can demonstrate this with the four channel remote control, just as this one happens to have the battery in it at the moment. So we will hold down solo and A, and we'll hear a long beep. 
and that signifies that this remote control is now in programming mode. Now, it will stay in that mode for 20 seconds. If not, you'll hear a long beep to signify it's exited the mode, but to program, every remote control comes with a keyring. Take the keyring, wave it across the top of the receiver. The remote control beeps twice to confirm that it's now programmed. Simple as that, no tools needed out in the field, there's no need to take the lid off the receivers, just keep your magnetic tool handy and wave it across the top of the receivers to program. Simple as that.